For some of us, the person of the Holy Spirit is shrouded in mystery. His name sounds spooky, and that's because we don't understand who he is or what he ought to be doing in our lives. And if we don't know who he is and his function, we won't be able to maximize his presence in our lives. So I want to share with you an illustration that I feel will be helpful for you to better understand one of the roles of the Holy Spirit. I was driving to pick my children from school recently and I began to think about how much work I would have done if I was to go on foot to get them. That would be so exhausting and stressful. But being in the car, all I needed to do was just sit there press the right buttons as I engage my car and it takes me to my destination. So my car is a machine given to me to make work easier for me. And that's exactly how the Holy Spirit functions in our lives. God gave him to us at salvation to make life easy for us by the help he offers us. That means I don't need to do things in my strength or try to work things out on my own. What God expects me to do is to engage the Holy Spirit that he has put inside of me. I come into partnership with him, become subject to his guidance as I navigate through life's ups and downs, hills and valleys together with him. So the Holy Spirit is our helper. Jesus said in John 14, 16, and I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper, comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, standby to be with you forever. So the Holy Spirit does all the hard stuff. He is the one that makes things happen. Your role is to come into agreement with him by yielding yourself to his leading. 1 Corinthians 2.11 says, no one can know a person's thoughts except the person's own spirit. And no one can know God's thought except God's own spirit. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of God. He knows what God wants us to do and he communicates that to us. But he doesn't stop there. He enables us to obey God. He empowers us to please God. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. Each time we are studying the word of God, he is the one who breaks down that word for us. He's the one that gives us understanding and insight into God's word. So knowing that we can please God in our strength, our confidence is never in ourselves because our human strength is limited. Human discipline can't take us far. Rather, our confidence is in the unlimited strength of God's indwelling spirit. And so maybe you've been trying hard to make something work or you've been struggling with a bad habit. This is a reminder that God did not create you to do life on your own. He wants you to partner with his spirit every day. And partnering with the Holy Spirit is as easy as saying from your heart, Holy Spirit, help me.